Hello everyone, and here, the little Frenchie Big Texas. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to talk about nuclear fallout and what you can do, what you can take uh, in case it happens. And there are many reasons why it could happen. I mean, we're all aware of what's going on uh, on the other side of the Atlantic. So that is a reason, the new Cold War, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And if you listen to all these big prepping channels, it's a uh, nuclear uh, attack is coming tomorrow. But I don't have a crystal ball and I don't know. So it might happen. It might not happen. Who knows? But aside from that, you always have that risk. I mean, look at Fukushima years back. They had another earthquake in Japan very close to the site, which is still not stable a few days ago. I mean, France is saying that uh, some of their nuclear reactors are rusty, needing maintenance, and have been shut down, which is good. It's good, but incidents can happen easily. I mean, Chernobyl is not that far out at the end. And we have these nuclear power plants scattered a bit everywhere. So it's good to be prepared if you don't want to solely rely on uh, your local government to supply you with the magic pills. So what are your options? And here the options are different depending on where you are because some of them are not available everywhere, unfortunately. We're pretty lucky in the US because all what I'm going to present here, I got here, so easy to get. Disclaimer to start, I am not a doctor. This is based on some internet research I did. Please do your own research. I just want to share what I learned here, hoping it is useful. The first thing, of course, is to get these magic pills of potassium iodine. The ones that you would, you expect to get from your local uh, government in case something happens. But if you do a research, they're not easily available. They are pretty much sold out right now. You have some that are available, but don't have the right dosage. So be very careful. Dosage is important here. Um, you are supposed to get 130 milligrams for an adult per day for 14 days. And when I Googled a bit, uh, did some internet search, um, looked on Amazon, the ones available do not have that dosage. So very careful. Look between the milligrams mg and the micrograms, which is mcg, which is a thousand times less. The ones I found were MCG, a thousand times less. So be careful. You might be able to find some. They're up and down and not easily available here and not available on the other side of the Atlantic. The other thing that could easily replace and that I have here is this solution. So this is not a tablet. It's a liquid. It's potassium iodine as well. And this one, you would need 20 from my research. Huh? Once again, this is my own research. Do your own. I am not a doctor. These are just advices based on what I read. So you would need 20 drops of this solution per day for one adult for up to 14 days. For a kid, you need to divide by two, meaning 10 drops. That's an option. It's very easily available on... Amazon. I got this on Amazon. Um, they have two big brands. I believe this is one of them. I got a package of five or six bottles. And if I'm right, it was below $60 for the package. And I think if you got it individually, it's going to be more. But they have packages of maybe two bottles for $30 or less. So it doesn't last forever. You got a few years. Uh, you need to keep it in a cool, dark place, but this is something easily available. And having a few bottles at home, just in case, doesn't hurt. So I would strongly encourage, I will put the link uh, in the description below. Look it up, do your own research. But that's very easy solution to replace the tablets. But once again, this is not available either in Europe or at least in France. It is not available. So what do you do when you cannot find these two options of potassium iodine? So you need to find for other solutions that contain iodine. 
And a good option is to look for C products. And here, a few options. Myself, I got some spirulina here, which at the end is a vitamin. I used to take it years back in France because it contains a lot of good stuff. You've got some iron, some uh, magnesium. It, it's it's a, like a one a day kind of vitamin. So that's not gonna hurt you at all. It's actually a good supplement. The big question is how much iodine does it have? And here, when I look at, um, I don't know. So do your own research. You've got different brands and different kind of spirulina and different kind of sea products as well. So you've got these, but you also have the sea moss. You have different options here and you have as well kelp which is another C product. This one for kelp, it does have a dosage. If you look at it, the one I got here as well off Amazon is 325 micrograms. So that's the tiny dosage. So it would take a lot of it to just make up for drops from this, just to give it some perspective. But if you cannot get this, this is better than nothing and it's not gonna hurt you. And at least this one I know is easily available uh, as a vitamin in pretty much everywhere. Easy. That one I got from Costco. They were running a deal with $6 off and it was less than $30 and you have 360 tablets. So you would have to really do your research to look at how much iodine you have in these tablets. And here you would have to do quite a bit here, take quite a bit. There are other brands with other dosage. So really pay attention to the dosage, which I did not hear. It's not much. So these are the options you have to get some iodine into your body. And why do you need iodine? It's all about the steroid, see that? Uh, steroid here. Um, you want the iodine to fill in all the empty spots so that the radiation cannot be absorbed by your body and just go through. So it's really about the absorption of the radiation. You want to make sure iodine is taking all the empty spots and uh, nothing can stick. But if you don't have this, another option, so different here, um, is to flush your body pretty much, to try to completely cleanse it. And here you have different natural options, different, look for, do your research and look for body cleanser. What I found in my research is something that apparently was used uh, at Chernobyl years back, particularly on kids, because they were running uh, very low in all these uh, iodine tablets. It was just so unplanned. They use apple pectin to flush bodies of um, people that were um, too close, pretty much, and got radiated. So this is another very easily available natural supplement that you can get uh, on the internet at your store very easy to get so this is an option and there are many different natural options so look for body cleanser i also read that beet for instance could be a good one so beet juice beet powder look for the beets and so on so do your research here but this is an al alternative if as i said if uh, the iodine is not available and once again if you have to choose among all these and you cannot get the best tablets uh, i would go for this first before going down the list here now let's say you were outside you got exposed you got some radiation on you you want to clean what do you do so what i've read as well based on my research is of course you need to wash so go take a bath a deep bath soap and so on but what you should add to your bath is a, a very uh, nice salty mixture of baking soda and salt. And you need quite a bit of it. You would need to use the whole package here, which is a, a pound. So you would mix it well and soak in that bath for 20, 30 minutes, rub, clean, soap and rinse. So that's something also very easily available. Everybody almost have it at home and it doesn't cost much. So very uh, budget-friendly solutions. 
just uh, make sure you have a few depending on how many people you have in your household. But that would be an option. So once again, I'm by no means a doctor. This is just based on some uh, research I did. Uh, just wanted to be prepared. Uh, I got a bit alarmed when my parents told me, well, we cannot buy that uh, in France. I was like, wow, what can they get? So I started looking, doing some uh, internet research. But do your own. But based on what I found, I would recommend to get uh, a few of these bottles. Because remember, I mean, it's 20 drops per adult for 14 days. So depending on how many people in your house, you might need a few of these bottles. So that would be number one. Otherwise, I would try to get some uh, C supplements, C product supplements like spirulina, kelp, sea moss. Then I would find some uh, body cleanser like apple pectin. And last, if you want to take a good cleansing bath, baking soda and salt. Some easy, budget-friendly options to be prepared because we never know what can happen. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And thank you all for watching. Be safe. Here are some potassium iodide tablets I found just doing a search on Amazon. I don't know how good they are, but they are available. This one here is a solution. This particular brand I have was not available. However, this one, which pretty much are the two competitors here was, I have it as well, um, and it's running a bit of a discount here, so not too bad if you want to have uh, grab a few just to have. So all these products, I will put uh, the link uh, in the description below, this is an Amazon associate link, so I get a commission at no cost to you. If you shop on Amazon, make sure you also look at the Q&A and product reviews because you got some interesting information in there. Proceed with caution, but this one apparently knows what uh, he or she's talking about.